American, Delta and United will halt service to the Chinese mainland, widening the impact of the outbreak on business and travel. Delta Airlines, American Airlines and United Airlines said on Friday morning that they were suspending service between the United States and China, drastically limiting service just hours before the Trump administration issued new travel restrictions of its own. American Airlines said it was suspending all flights to and from mainland China immediately through March 27. Delta and United said they would suspend service starting on February 6 to accommodate customers and employees. United said it expected to resume operations on March 28. Delta said its suspension would last through April 30. American Airlines and United said they would still operate flights between the United States and Hong Kong. Delta does not fly to that city. Share prices in all three airlines were down for the day, nearly 4% for United, more than 3% for American and nearly 2.5% for Delta, as concerns about the virus led to a broad market decline. The S&P 500 was down nearly 2%. In a statement, Delta said that its last flight to China from the United States would depart on Monday and that its last flight to the United States from China would leave on Wednesday. United said its last flight to China would be on Tuesday, while the last flight from China to the United States would depart on Wednesday. On Friday afternoon, the Trump administration said it was suspending entry into the United States by any foreign nationals who have traveled to China in the last 14 days, excluding the immediate family members of American citizens or permanent residents. It also said it would funnel all flights from China to just a few airports, including Kennedy International in New York, O'Hare in Chicago, and San Francisco International Airport. Countries surrounding China, including Mongolia, Russia and Singapore, have moved to shut their borders. On Thursday, the State Department raised its travel advisory to Level 4, Do Not Travel, a rating reserved for situations in which the government expects to have very limited ability to help citizens abroad. The World Health Organization declared a global health emergency because of the spreading virus, though it opposed restrictions on travel or trade with China. Thanks for watching for more news subscribe World News Channel.